you welcome to my channel my name is adora and if you are just coming across this channel for the first time thank you very much for stopping by and if you're an old subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate it i appreciate each time you watch my video thank you very much um for some time now there's been these balls all over the internet about the hca visa about the healthcare work tier um two visa that is um that has just been released or has just been announced and everyone is really excited about it because of the benefits that comes with it you know you relocate into the uk with the family and all that it's a very nice opportunity and it's a one in a lifetime opportunity which means no one is sure if after this um announcement or if after this scheme if something like this is going to come out again for this particular industry so everyone is trying to jump on the train now that it is in full motion but at the same time you know people like to take advantage of people especially when they are in desperate situations there's been a whole lot of fraudulent activities that has been wrapped around this particular topic around this particular issue a lot of fraudsters, a lot of scammers have now seen this as an opportunity to rip people off their hard-earned money. Okay, uh, recently, a friend of mine told me what happened to her younger sister. The younger sister heard about this news, just like so many people have heard about this news online. And she was excited to um, become a healthcare assistant in the UK. So she discussed with a friend of hers... And the friend of hers said, oh, I know someone that can help you make it easier. You know, you don't have to stress yourself about it. I can just give you his contact and then you you meet up with him and then he'll fix you up and make, you know, get things worked out for you. <clears throat> and she asked that her friend, who is he? And the friend said, oh, he is a recruitment consultant. He's based there in Nigeria. And... Um, this young girl, because she's just a very young girl, she's in her, I think she's 19, 20. This young girl was like, okay, you know, she was so excited and she went to meet this recruitment consultant and he spoke a lot of big grammars just to confuse her and rather convince her that he knows what he's doing. Um, he actually, um, you know, just kind of um, flaunted his passport in front of the girl, showing him different countries he's been to, different country stamps on his passport and all that, and how he can help the girl get the job in the UK, that he's done it for a lot of people, not only in the healthcare industry, but in different aspects of um, the visa to come to the UK. And, I mean, when he said all these things, it was just so convincing because the girl in the first place thought, wow, okay, this guy is an elderly man. He's not really a young guy. So at his age, he, he thought he's not going to tell lies. Number two, he has brought out his passport with the proof of different countries he has been to. So she thought that was a good uh, opportunity, you know, to meet up with someone who is well-traveled. Definitely, he will not be a scammer. And number three, he has a very well-furnished office. So the whole thing sounded and looked very real, no, very authentic. You know, so she went with the flow. And this guy asked for, you know, told her she was going to register for some things, gave her a long list of payments to be made. And at the end of the day, the money this guy was expecting this girl to pay was £1,550. Like, if you convert that one to Nigerian Naira, do you know how much this thing is? So this girl went home and although she didn't have the money, she was so worried. She was, Because she was so desperate to travel, she, she made it a point of duty to do anything just to raise this money to travel. She was so depressed. She was trying so hard to raise the money. And her family noticed there was something about her. There was something wrong. There was something going on in her life. But they didn't understand what it was because she was always moody. She always kept to herself. And then... Each time she goes out, she doesn't come back early. Like, she stays out late. And they say this is a girl that, you know, she doesn't... She's not used to all that kind of lifestyle of maybe sleeping out or hanging out or, you know, going parties or clubs. But at the time, this whole thing became the new norm. And she started doing what she never used to do before. So it was just recently, just recently, um, her sister, who is my friend, got to find out that 
she was being put under serious pressure to raise this money because the guy actually put some fear in her and told her you better hurry up oh. and you know this scheme will soon close they only need they only need about you know is it 500 people from from nigeria so you better hurry up so that you become you you will fall in among the 500 people because once they they take the number of people they want that is it you cannot have opportunity to travel to the uk and all that blah 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 and this girl was becoming worried by the day because the guy kept calling the guy kept calling it's like every two days every week the guy will call her to ask her how far how far how much have you been able to raise whatever you have raised just bring it let's set the ball moving and all that and this girl was so worried and all of a sudden she starts selling things she starts selling her things just to raise money and each thing each time she sells anything she will take the money and go and deposit it to the man so this continued until recently she was like you know she has to tell her sister about it so that her sister will help her to raise some money so she told her sister about it and her sister was like a thousand five hundred pounds that's a lot of money like even if even like this is just the registration alone no? the man told her that this is just the registration that by the time she gets her visa she will have to pay for the visa process she will have to buy her flight ticket and all that so it's not even part of his demands registration fee so my friend just thought there was something sneaky about this whole thing and then you know we were talking about it and she just said she sent me a message and said dora what do you think about this and she told me everything that's happened and i was like recruitment consultant where exactly is he based because for real when she was talking about this thing i actually thought she maybe the person was based in the uk and she said nigeria and i was like wow your sister has been scammed like your sister has just been scammed because in the first place no recruitment consultant in uk will ever charge you or ask you to pay any money before you are employed or before you are enrolled in their um among their you know, list of um, applicants or whatever nobody asks for money in uk but trust now because it's you know we 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 always have a way of of um of of taking people for granted we always have a way of taking ourselves of defrauding ourselves which is not very good whenever a good opportunity comes out that we benefit everybody some people will just hijack it and want to make money out of it. Everything is not money, 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 money. So, you know, I talked to my friend. I told her that there is nothing like payment in this scheme. Nobody's asking you to pay for anything. There is a lay down procedure. She has a phone, right? She, is, she has access to internet. Why don't she just go and Google these things? The information is everywhere. If you watch most of these videos online, even if you don't even need to watch some videos before you know what is happening. Once you hear an information that as, as important as this, what you do is you take your phone, go and Google more about that particular topic that is trending. Try to know about it. One thing I have discovered about the visa process, especially in UK, is that there is no back, backyard, there's no backyard um, process about it. It's very straightforward. There is no, I know somebody that knows somebody that can help you do. There's nothing like that. There is no sentimentalism in this whole thing. Your The success to your visa approval all boils down on supporting documents you have to, to present. It all boils down on the questions they ask you. It all boils down on what you have to show as proof that this is what I need to support my application to get a visa for is it work, for is it marriage, for visiting, for tourism or whatever. Nobody knows anybody in the embassy that will help you do anything. And you see, this is one of the lies that a lot of fraudsters keep telling people because they know they are very desperate to travel. And I'm saying this from a point of experience because it has happened to me. Like, it happened to me severally. Many years back when I was still in Nigeria, when I was so desperate to travel, like, I don't, I have tried a lot of countries. I have tried to go to France. I have tried to go to Germany. I have tried to go to America. I have tried to go to Italy. I even tried South Africa. That one was even almost, I was almost there. But the only reason why I had to backtrack was, you know, someone I take, I know, I kind of highly respect, like a father figure to me, told me, no, this particular trip you're about to embark on, I do not support it. I don't see it, um, I don't see it as something worthwhile. I think you should come down, 
focus on your education, finish up, and then by that time, you know exactly what to do with yourself. That was why I stopped the South African issue. But I've tried all these countries, and nothing worked. And you know, one of, even I've tried UK, I tried UK about two times, and there was no success. The first time I tried UK, I wanted to come to school in the UK. I wanted to finish up my higher education. But I met a woman who said ah, she's a, an education consultant, whatever, in the UK. That's her line of business and all that. She does it for people to come to university. To, they come to school in the UK. You know, she told me all manner of stories. And just like this young girl, this young naive girl, I was also naive then. I was really young. I believed her, number one, because she's a woman. I believe because she's a woman, she will be more sentimental or rather she will show more concern to my case. She will not want to defraud me. She will not want to cheat me. She would have more sympathy, you know, towards my plight and then help me. But it was just from one story to the other. Today they will tell you, I'm waiting for one ambassador to stamp one letter next to They're waiting for one consular to sign one thing. It's just one from one story to the other in order to get money from you. Once they get the money from you, that is it. They shut the door towards you. The second time I tried to travel to um, in Europe, I tried going through Germany. I also met another man. This one is even the is even his own is even worse that he he claimed to be a pastor. So that made me believe that okay, if he's claiming to be a man of God, then then definitely he's not gonna he's not gonna defraud me. He doesn't you know. So I followed him very 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 closely just to get this visa. But each time I part with money, that is it. You will never hear from them again. So I have also been defrauded several. That's why I'm coming out to say be very careful who it is that brings up all these stories of I have this person at the embassy or I know that person or I can help you to get a job, I can help you to get to school and all that. It was only when I came to the UK, when I relocated to the UK and I went into the system and I understood that there is no corner corner in this whole thing. There is no mago mago, there is no shortcut. It's either you have what they want or you don't. If the UK wants a particular list of documents, let's say, for instance, you want you want um, a visiting visa for like six months, and there's a criteria, there might be a list of what they want from you, supporting documents. Once you are able to fulfill all those supporting documents, your visa is granted. This is not just a... It's not even a miracle. It's not science. It's just... Fact, it's common sense giving them what they want that is it they just want to be able to know that you can afford to produce those proofs that's all but you know when you come across people who are very naive or who have never traveled before those people now think that people that have traveled before are some kind of superheroes that they know everything about traveling and I don't blame you because I was in that shoes before. But I am here now telling you that it's not everybody who has traveled that are genuine when it comes to the issues of visas or relocating to any particular country. That is number one. Number two, not everyone who has traveled even knows how the system works. There's a difference between when you travel for fun, for pleasure, for tourism, for holiday. And when you reside in a particular country, when you reside in a country, you work in the country or you school in the country, you know exactly how the system functions. You who reside there, you are the one in better position to explain to the people who do not how the whole thing is being run. Not the person who is coming on holiday for visit and all that. Because before I relocated, I used to visit the UK. I will come a month, two months, and I will leave. And I swear to God, I didn't know much about anything. I, there were so many things I didn't know. It was only when I relocated to the UK that I discovered, oh my God, so this thing was actually like this. How come I didn't know? For instance, back then when I used to visit the UK, I used to go to some expensive shops, like, you know, all those corner shops, to buy things, to buy, you know, stuffs, milk, bread, you know, all those, do my normal shopping. And then my cousin then, I had a cousin then, she used to tell me that, ah, you are spending too much. We don't spend like this here. Like, we don't really buy. If you want to do your weekly shopping, because it's advisable to buy, do them weekly or monthly. So you do them in bulk. And by so doing, you get things at a cheaper rate. If you want to do your weekly shopping, I will take you to social so and so shop. You go to the big stores where you will shop and it is easier, it is cheaper there than just buying, you know. So I began to see reasons. But if you're just coming in, 
as a visitor, you might not really be bothered about going to, you know, the big shops or those places to buy. Because you think because they are big in sight, in size, they are expensive. But no, that's the trick about this whole thing. So if it, it's only when you are in the system, when you are inside, that you will know exactly how everything is wrong. That's why I'm saying if people just walk up to you and tell you, oh, um, I can help you get um, an application form for the HCA visa or for any work tier two um, visa route. I can help you do this. I can help you do that. Be very careful. Because in the first place, in the first place, in the first place, a lot of these recruitment companies you see hanging their banners here and there are just fraudsters. They're just looking for innocent people who have some extra cash to waste, to throw into the bin. Go with your phone. Google as much as you want. Just yesterday, just yesterday, just yesterday. I'm not talking about the day before yesterday or last year. Just yesterday. My mom's friend, her son just traveled to the UK for studies for his master's. And he didn't do it through the help of anybody. There is no agent involved. This young guy got his own application. He got his own master's, um, um, the master's degree application, whatever, online. He went online. He did these things himself. He found his school himself. He did the payments himself. He did all the registration. Everything was done by him. And this is a guy who has not traveled out before. He has not left the shores of his country before. So if he can do it, you can. Do not let anybody mesmerize you with your brain and make you feel because you've not traveled before, you don't know anything, don't worry, bring the money, I can help you. Nobody knows anybody in this country. Nobody out there knows anybody working at any visa embassy or any consulate or whatever that can give you a visa. There is no shortcut to this whole thing. So that's why I'm here saying avoid being scammed. This is the right time now for scammers, for fraudsters to perfect their game very well because they know that this is something a lot of people desperately need to get out of the country. They know. And one funny thing about these scammers is that they are even more current than a lot of us. Like they keep their ears to the ground. They know when all these things, all these good news, all these travel opportunities, all these relocation opportunities, they know when it comes out. They know immediately the bubble bursts that, okay, yeah, it's an opportunity to get hold of my moogles, to get hold of, of um, people and my zombies, people I'm going to defraud at this point. So they know, they know, they are very, very current with issues, you know, with issues about traveling. So that's why whenever they speak, they, they come to you with facts that are not real. Now, I call them facts that are not real because they give you the imp impression that this is the fact. And sometimes when they detail all these things to you, it sounds very real. It sounds authentic, you know. So in this of love now, just to make you understand that not everyone you see speaking about this recruitment, 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 HCA, work here, work there, students come to school here, come. Not everyone is genuine. You can do it. Get on your phone. Google. The information is right there on the phone. It's right there on the internet. Google. Ask as many questions as you want to ask. If you're looking for how to come to school in the UK, Google, you could just write things like, okay, um, list of um, schools offering scholarships in the UK. You will see list of schools. Check the one you want. Check them out according to the location, the, 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 the price of the school fees. Whatever. You can do these things for Christ. Don't let people keep using your heads. Because at this point, as I'm talking to you right now, a lot of fraudsters have been let loose. They are everywhere looking for people that they will rip from. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly press that red subscribe button. Thank you very much.